group stages as the two teams emerge from the tunnel into the sunshine in the French capital. The atmosphere really built a sheet in that game over in Turin last week. Girelli will be the oldest player on the pitch. Let's have a quick look through the teams. Four changes from the defeat last week for Paris Saint-Germain. They've moved to back three by the looks of it. Liguili comes in at wing back. Clean sheet for the side from France. How she'd love that to change this evening. We're underway. Pressure in the Juventus goal. As the US side could have a chance on the edge of the box. It comes loose. The shot will come in. Tips over the crossbar. As Juventus looks to swing the corner into the box. Could be a wicked ball towards far post. It is. It's back across goal. Can Juventus find the finish? It's a real scramble there. And eventually, it's turned in. And what a start that is for Juventus. Well, it was looking like the impossible task anyway for PSG. And well, it's just got a whole lot more difficult there. A real mess in front of goal. And eventually it scrambled home. Merriam's not happy with her side's defensive display there. And early on in this one, Juventus take the lead. It looked to be Sofia Cantorish. And here come the side from Turin once more. The goal scorer, Cantore on the ball. Can she find a cross? She can. Just flipped away in the nick of time. The shot will still come in. He's tucked in at the right back position. Chance here for PSG though, the run forward. Looks to be once again PSG just seemingly can't keep hold of possession. Samora does well to win it back for her side before drawing the foul, wins the free kick. Benison there in the possession, back for a counter-attack, 3 2 scenario in the box, can Juventus find the cross, it's a wicked ball in, only half cleared, Dudek gets there to sort in the penalty area as his ball is swung in, it's high once more, headed up and over the crossbar, never troubling Mary Oops. just not being able to ask the right amount of questions, also chipped in with one at the weekend, that's her fourth goal, of the season to break forward once more. Bergamasche into the box. She's got options in the middle if she can find one. Swings it. Caught in it though. And Juventus this time. Win a free kick. And is this going to be the first card we see of the afternoon? It looks to be. Samora does manage to win the ball back now. A twist and a turn. She looks to get up and over halfway. Had all the answers to the questions that Juventus have put to them. Can they force an effort on the Juventus goal here? Edge of the area. Chap. He really gives chase. Gets there as well. Beagle plays it towards the edge of the area too many times this evening. Three kick goes away on Paris Saint Germain. In swinger and an out swinger. Floated into the area. Headed up from Juventus. The home side winner for a kick. That was clumsy. The Juventus defence, however, so far they've seemingly killed the tempo of the attack. The ball into the penalty area is a good one, though. The shot comes in. It. Gioro just couldn't find a sight on goal. And that's well defended from Lanzini, it has to be said. Kashawi does well to get the challenge in. The ball the edge of the area once more. But also, can she force an effort on goal? She can. Just a tame effort. Never troubling Pauline Mannion there who throws her cap on that one. Another long ball for that's a good one into the penalty area. Chance to get the shot and goal, it deflects. And that was a chance. That was a chance. Katoto deep into the area once again. Katoto has it. She's got a couple of options to her left. Can she swing the ball into the box? Instead, does well to win the corner. Her and Caligaris having a really good battle between each other. Out swinging ball into the middle. It's bobbling around. Chance to get the shot in. Oh, you really feel as though Albert could have done better with that. It felt her kindly in the area. Maybe she just barring some kind of a miracle from Paris Saint Germain. 
free kick goes away on the home side again. Caruso. Ball swung into the area. It's a good one towards the far post as well. And again, you can see the frustration on the face of Paulina Dudek. Up. Drills it forward. Katoto will win it on the edge of the area. She's got support. Albert into the area. Would have took this before the game. Juventus through the field. So though she's replaced the goal scorer, Sofia Cantori, who's enjoying a fine season so far. So we're back underway across the footballing globe. And it's Juventus who we're looking to hit first. In the second half, the team effort from the edge of the box, never going to trouble Mary Earps. Created and still making a racket into the penalty out the goes. Can they find the cross? It bobbles around, it's still not cleared by Juventus. In the end, Manion. Thankfully, looks as though PSG are playing with a little bit more urgency in this second half as Kashawi goes to ground under. Despite the scoreline. Well, that could be a penalty. That is a penalty. Never in doubt for the referee. A clumsy challenge. A twist and turn in winding run from Katoto. It's been a real hand expecting. Cool as you like. Smashed into the left hand corner. The keeper gets the right way, but you do not stop those. The home fans have something to celebrate. And maybe a little bit of light at the end of the time. Juventus looking to hit back. 1-1 one, one the score. Could be a chance here for Juventus from distance. Hits the post. And flashes across goal. Well, for a second, I think Mary Earps thought she was going to hear the net bulge behind her there. A wicked effort from Valentina Berg. The ball floated into the penalty area once more. Leicester over back to goal, lays it off. The total goes to ground. This schedule for timings, depending on where you are. Juventus with the advantage here. They could add to it as well. Into the box it goes, chips over the goalkeeper. Much to Mary Earps' relief, goes wide. Vansgaard protects. Back foot here. Crumb Eagle comes forward, finds a pass as well. The referee waves the advantage. Late challenge came in, it swung into the box. Vance Giaro switches the play. It's a good ball too. Wicked drill ball. Oh, it hits the crossbar. Oh, for a second, I thought that was dipping in. And I think Pauline Manuel might have thought the same. The cross comes short. Shall we? Plays it forward. Giaro with a good ball around the corner. It could be a chance there. Into the penalty area they go. Parried away. No one there to follow up on the rebound. Jennifer Ashengi darted into the penalty area had a decent sight of goal as well back into the group stage it's still work to do though but Nancy has it towards the corner flag lovely bit of skill You're too happy with the amount of time that Juventus are taking over these substitutions is Emma Kulberg who's bodies on the penalty spot as it's drilled towards the front post the header comes in and that might just seal it a training ground set piece from Juventus and it is a substitute Barbara Benansi with the header flicks it towards the far post smiles on the faces of the travelling support Mary Epps was beaten and PSG may just be beaten Kashawi could be a chance to get the shot away here, there is, it deflects.